Thank you for joining me again. Uh, the series continues to the group two lowercase letter forms. And in the uh, subcategory B letters, we have the J, the L, and the T. And these are also based off that basic I shape, though it may not seem like it at first. So let's go ahead and start. First, I'll make the J. This is a descender stem loop, and I'll go down from, this is the main X height here, where you can see my W from the previous video. It'll extend down almost two full spaces, but I stop just shy of that last line, okay? So, I'll start off with my lead-in connector. Square top, just like the I, come down, start letting off pressure. So you have a beautiful wedge-shaped a wedge-shaped transition. Some people like to follow it around and come around and loop it back here. That's perfectly fine. I do things a little bit differently. You don't have to do it my way. I rotate my entire paper because for me it gives me the best consistency on this on the shape of the stem loop. And so what I'll do now is come up and over the top with the stem loop. Aim for just below the baseline, okay? And now this stem loop should be beautifully curv curving like this, not flat. And if you did bisect this stem loop, it should roughly form equal sides, okay? And then finally, to finish off this letter, I rotate my paper back. And then just like the eye, I would put a dot above it. Same way, midway in the first A center space, draw a small circle, fill it in. And then continue on from the other side with your hairline connector. All right? There's really nothing more to it. Again, if you want to come down around in one stroke and make the letter, you're perfectly able to do that, and per it's perfectly fine. I don't want people to get into thinking that there's some absolute way things have to be done as far as making letters. If it works for you, do it. Um, the next portion of this uh, uh, this video will cover the letter form L and so this is an ascender stem loop alright and so for the ascender stem loops we're talking basically we have the same basic form except now we're going above the header line up here and I always stop just shy of the very top line right about there okay so let's go ahead and make this letter we'll start first with my connector and I start my, my L just at about above the first ascender space with a wedge. No pressure and increasing pressure like this. And curve out at the bottom just like the I. So from here to here, this is basically an I. It just extends up above it. I then come up, up, up and over the top like this, just like on the bottom, J and then come in right at the header line. Okay, so now I have my basic L shape. If you wanted to come up and then swing your hairline out up and over around the top, that is okay too. People make it that way. I don't, but this is the way I get consistency. If you want to make it the other way, you're perfectly, you're perfectly, you're perfectly all right to do that. And then finally, a T is simply an elongated I with a crossbar. I'll show you what I mean. The T basically will come up to almost two spaces, but the T I'll stop right at about here, okay, or at least start it there. And so I come up with my connector, start my T right about there, come down, start curving outward, make sure it's squared on top. Then right in the center of this first A center space, I would make one crossbar on that side and then connect it to another one on the other side. Sometimes you just run your pen across the ink, you'll drag the ink with it, it's not safe to do. Uh, thank you very much for your time and attention on this, and there's one more clip in this series, it'll be part three of uh, finishing the group two letter forms. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.